Hello world, my name is Grace. Thank you so much for being here. It's been about two years since I started my dreadlock journey and I wanted to give a little bit of an update both on what led me to dreads and how it's been going these last few years. I have a couple other videos about dreads um, at this time, five frequently asked questions about dreadlocks and my neglect dread fail. You can find those linked in the description below. And of course, it would mean a lot to me if you liked, subscribed, and if you came and said hi in the comments, um, it really does help as a small creator. So first things first, I still get a lot of questions about why I have dreads and I would really love to answer. I always wanted dreadlocks. Um, I wanted them for a few reasons. The main driver was wanting to wear my hair down and still have a low maintenance routine. My hair is pretty coarse, it's very thick, and I've mostly always worn it long. I think if I used a number of products, I'd be okay, but I don't really want to use products, and I also don't really brush my hair. If I did these things, it wouldn't be a problem, but I have never been a dedicated brusher and I have never really been committed to using hair products. Um, I don't like the chemicals, the smells, the wasteful packaging, and the added expense and effort of having more disposable products in my life. I also got dreads because I wanted to let go of control, both physically and sort of emotionally and energetically at that time in my life. Uh, at the end of 2020, I was going through a lot of changes. I felt really burdened by the last couple years. I was growing in all these new ways. Lots of things were falling away in my life and it just felt like the time to sort of sink back into surrendering. And part of that looked like surrendering my control over my hair. And um, dreads was the perfect answer. After I had my dreads, I felt like a whole new woman. I could wear my hair down. It wouldn't get super messy. It couldn't get tangled. It was already dreaded and it was absolutely perfect. The first summer that I had my dreads, um, they were still sort of figuring out what to do. By the end of summer, I had a lot of hair from one side of my head sort of stuck into dreads on the other side. They were just all a bit tangled up. I did a lot of swimming in the ocean and the salt, and I think that really helped them lock, but they needed a little bit of help. So I found a lactician and she was able to sort of separate any stray hair that had gotten tied up in another dread put it back where it belonged and she used a crochet hook to just sort of straighten everything out and make sure that they were on the right path. I had her do this again five months later and it really helped. I haven't had to go to anyone for almost a year now. Now I just make sure to separate my dreads every month or two. Sometimes these wisps, especially around the front of my head, get tangled up in a neighboring dread. Sometimes I have to cut in between them to separate them, um, but mostly I just sort of give a yank and they come apart. Um, I cut my bangs every once in a while. Um, I'm actually really overdue for a trim, uh, but that's all I do. Sometimes I add beads, but mostly I just keep it really simple. I have just really enjoyed having my dreadlocks. I think that's all I'm gonna share in this video today. I just wanted to do a quick little update. If you have any questions about dreadlocks or you wanna come say hi in the comments, I would really love to hear from you. Uh, this has just been a beautiful process. It's been a really great thing to learn and explore and uh, I'm really happy with my hair. It's been two years, I love it. And uh, I just wanted to do a little update. So thank you for watching. I'd love to hear from you, hear about your dreadlocks, hear about where you are. Um, yeah, come say hi in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. And from me to you, wherever you are in the world, whenever you are in the world, I hope that you are just having a really wonderful day. All right, ciao.